In this lesson, you will understand how to validate the data. Validating your data is a necessary part of the iterative analytic process because it allows you to see if you have the needed fields to complete your analysis. It also allows you to verify that your data preparation operation have been successfully applied. How to see and validate your data? You have various options, like you can see what are all the changes you have applied to your clean data in order to clean your data here in the flow pane. In the every step, you can see that what are all the changes you have applied so far. Also in the profile pane, left to the profile pane, you have a clean pane where you can see the changes. If you want any changes to be not made by you or unknowingly if you have made it you can simply click here the close button where the changes will be undone you can also see here on the profile pane what are all the data you have what are all the fields you have it is also important that whether you are having the fields which you really need for your data validation that you can see either in the profile pane in the cards or else you can click on the data grid and see what are all the fields you have. You have to verify that all the fields which you need is really present in your data. And always, whenever you clean your data, you have to cross check whether all the changes you made is correct, which can be done in the changes pane. You can also validate the other data, other validation, like all the data are with the proper data set, data type, whether the company name is having the data type as string, whether the address is having this data type as string or it has if it can be changed to any other data role like city state or country if you need any other additional task for example how we did here like converting the lower case to the upper case for the company proper formats or removing the unwanted numbers removing the unwanted spaces trimming the spaces these are all the other types of validation which also should be done while preparing your data. Let us see how to validate our data with Tableau Prep Builder. Simply right click on the clean step, you will be provided with option called preview in Tableau desktop. Click on preview in Tableau desktop where your Tableau desktop will be opened. So there, let us see how this address field is exactly looks like. And based on that, we'll clean it further. Here, you can see that the Tableau desktop has been opened with the data that is with the field which we have in the Tableau Prep Builder. So if you just go to the Tableau Prep Builder, you can see that you have company name, address, salesperson and revenue. The same thing you can see in the Tableau Desktop as well. I'm just going to use the address here, which is in the string format. But if I try to use this in the rows, let's see how it is looking like. See, it is just showing a table like structure. But according to the address, why it is showing like a structure, this structure, because the address is having multiple data, like the door number and the street, street address, street name and the city, state, vice versa. Let us just try to change this, split this using the custom split or the automatic split. So simply go to the automatic split and see, let's see how it is splitting based on the comma, it will be splitted. So see, it is automatically splitted to the address split one that is the first comma. You can see here, right? This is the existing address where 
this is the first comma you can see that is nine the after nine eight five zero goldfield saint mount so after this comma this complete uh, string has been segregated into the first split mount pleasant has been a second one south california has become the third one let us change this name okay so this is obviously we know that this is the pin code of the address so double click here and change its name as a pin code okay now it has changed now let us see what is the data type of the pin code so the data type of the pin code is now as a string now we have to change it to the pin code okay so you have a option call if you just change it to the number first change it to the number and then you have an option called area code okay so just change it to the area code next is you can change this so if i change this to area code you can see that is a showing some some input like it's showing some error okay which means that this is not a proper data so what you can do is you can simply close that is you can simply undo this change because anyhow it is not going to work out okay so the next one is what we are going to do is we are going to do the changes here that is the address into the city so i have changed this to the city and i'm just going to change the data role to the city here it is showing that it is having some error because it can easily understand that this is not the city so it is showing like these are the cities which are uh, relevant to the us country okay and it can find that alaska is not a that it cannot be considered to be the city in the data rule which means that we can let's try to convert because here they have also entered the combination of city and the state that is the reason here okay so even if you just try to convert this into a state let us try to convert this into the state and province we'll see what it is showing it's not showing an error okay so that is what the error which you can see if it is not related to the data role and the next one what we are going to do is this is basically the apartment name or something so just we can change it to the address line one and this we can change it to address door number and street name okay so what we are going to do now is we are going to delete the address from this field because this is not relevant for me okay this is not necessary the same address i have split it into the different part and we are going to use that so let us delete the this address using more option and remove the field now let me close the existing tableau book so that i can view in a better way now i am going to view this cleaned step that is after converting the original after changing the original address that is a single address into multiple addresses i'm just going to see how it looks like in tableau desktop let's view it
yes it's open like your tableau desktop is getting ready so here you can see that whatever the changes we have made that is address city that is address line one uh, city and everything has become like this and now i'm just going to drop this city and let's see what happened here see once if i drop the city what it's happening it is automatically converting this into the longitude and the latitude you can see here right because we have converted the data role into the city role okay now let's see what happens if i didn't convert the data role into the city role okay i'm just going to make the changes back like i am not going to make this as a data role or there is any new roles are here okay so i have changed the data role here that is city is not having any data role it's simply a string let us see what happened now so go and click on the preview in tableau desktop you can see how the city is looking like and if i drag and drop the city you can find the difference that how it is actually viewing so here you can see that the city i'm just dragging and dropping it see what happens the tableau desktop you know that is it is very intelligent it is automatically understanding that it is the role that is a city role and it is automatically showing up the latitude and the longitude okay so this is how see here you can see that in this it is the abc which is a string whereas this is the city which is having the data role that is a geographical role as a city so it is understanding what are the changes it is automatically understanding that this is a city so that it is that is converted into a data that is that is converted into a city role what is so these are the various options which we have to validate our data before proceeding further you can see the changes everywhere like in the profile card you can see and the flow pane you can see in the changes pane you can see so you should again validate whether all the changes which you have done is really correct or if you want to make any other changes or the changes which you already made has to be revisited